Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Got a box here from the R series, it says on the uh, front of it. And this, well, it's the R2, at least I think so. We've got a few check marks from the column R1, a few more from R2, and nothing from R3. If you want to throw your Google Translator on that, you can help us figure out what those all are. I presume it's colors and other comments combinations. Um, let's take a look at it inside. The R2 is an interesting device in that it came out before the pandemic and we were all ready to review this puppy. The Zanes R2 from Banggood with a touchscreen IP67 waterproof ECG plus PC, P, PPG watch. Pay close attention to the graphic here and notice it says ECG on the upper side of the band. That's going to be important later in the video. Let's take a look at the specs. Basic little thing. It's a, a very thin, nice uh, design, 1.22 inch touch screen. Uh, there's only one button on the front of the watch. Comes in a lot of different colors. It's a 260... Um, by 12 by 45 millimeters and what else touch key 160 milliamp hour battery your standard stuff it says ecg heart rate monitor heart rate variability ecg analysis blood pressure sleep monitor all those things in it and um, a variety of different sports functions including the pedometer tethering to the app called fit cloud Overall features are here. Package includes all these goodies, so let's see if they're in the box. First of all, the presentation is exquisite. Look at that. Got a nice little layout with a lift-up card that actually has the watch pushed into the card. So we're going to take that off, set it aside, go deeper into the box, and find, well, there's a, uh, a little... Plus, a little rubber thing here that's supposed to hold the band on the watch. And there's no charger and there's no band. But you know what? It's because I've had them out of the box and I've been using them. So I'll go get those a little bit later here. I wanted to charge it up for you. Get it all ready. This is all the Chinese side. And here's the English side of the manual. Let's walk through that. We've got um, basic uh, two-pin connector that can plug directly into any kind of charging source. There's the QR code for downloading the app or look in the show notes and you can connect directly through a link to the app for this one. Uh, it shows you a little bit about what it's going to look like when you get into it, the different um, exercise pages that you have. No GPS in this. It's going to calcul calculate everything based on time, pedometer, and an estimation, I believe, of calories burned um, on all of that. You have heart rate and blood pressure and settings. And in settings, you can shut down you know, on and on and on. Much more fun to look at it actually on the watch. And a little bit more here. Some FAQs for you. And the overall uh, wrap-up stuff, including tips for heart rate and blood pressure, which is good to know. And a warranty card on the back. All right, let's get this outfitted and uh, turn it on for you. Well, here's what the charger looks like, because I was just using it. USB connector, two-point um, charging. That, when you get it the right way, has a double pin that will lock it into the spot. See that right there, the two little holes, so it holds in there nicely and gives it a good charge. As far as the bands, i got to apologize, guys. I don't know what happened to them. Remember, this watch was before coronavirus had arrived. It's been sitting around, and now I can tell you the story why. Uh, and I don't know, honestly know what happened to the band. So I just grabbed a pair of bands from another watch that fits. They will not look like this. They'll look like uh, you see in the picture. And it comes in a variety of different colors. Some of them are sold out. Some of them are available. Um, but just check it out, and uh, this is kind of a leather black band that came uh, on this one. Uh, but you can get it in metal um, and a brown leather and all kinds of stuff. This is not the band that comes with it, but it's a band that'll let me put it on and, and test it out for you. So here's the story. You notice on this one, and it's actually already on. Let's take that off. It looks like it's doing heart rate. We'll get back to the watch face. 
In the picture, I mentioned that there's this little thing that says ECG up here. And on this watch, it's not there. This is an earlier version of this. And when it was sent out before the virus, I was told, hold on to it. We're going to send you another one that has full ECG capabilities built into it like it's supposed to. This one is a little bit earlier. It doesn't have the plates on the back. It doesn't do the ECG, uh, but the actual R2 will have ECG in it. Well, we're well after, not well after, but we're after the virus. The watch is not shipping. Most of them are not available. And so just so this doesn't get too far away before we take a look at it and to let you know about it, I'm doing this review. And then when we get the one with the ECG in it, we'll revisit it, okay? So I just want to show you today what the R2 is capable of doing. Again, there's no buttons on it. When you put it on, it's a nice, attractive, thin little thing. And uh, the band you have will fit as snug as you want it to be. And like I said, metal or um, leather. This one is a TPU silicone kind. But just to show you, it really is an attractive overall body. When you turn it on, you get into your first watch face. And from here, you cycle through things. So the first thing is your step count, calories, burn, distance, travel. That's typical. After that, and it's a fast touch, guys. You get into this fitness section that if you press and hold, you can see that you could do walking, time, steps, and a heart rate, or running with the same information, climbing, riding, and then back again. So not a lot of sophistication in the fitness, but it is available in the watch. When you set on this page, it's showing you your last heart rate before it clears it, and then it's going to give you your heart rate again as it senses that with the green diodes in the back. The ECG version of this will combine PPG, the green diodes, and ECG for your heart rate, and so it should be a little bit more accurate. When you tap it one more time, you get into blood pressure. Shows you your last one, clears it, does the same kind of thing. Now, blood pressure... I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the PPG with the green diodes and the accuracy on that. Well, you have to kind of check it for yourself to see if it's uh, within the tolerances that you're comfortable with for your own blood pressure. It takes longer to do blood pressure, but it is, again, based on the blood flowing through the arteries and capillaries and stuff in your arm to give you an overall reading. And once it comes on, which is why I keep talking so we can see that it kind of bounces around a little bit. And I'm not sure really what it's doing there, but... Um, Theoretically, it's going to bounce until it vibrates, which it just did, and then that's what it's settling on as your report. This would then be transferred to the tethering app. If you let it go off, it goes all the way back to the watch face. So after blood pressure, you have an area where you can check on messages. You have an overall settings. You press and hold to get in here. This is where you actually turn the watch off since there's no button on the side to hold it your system information for tethering to the app, and overall brightness control is available to you. And then, after you come back from here, and you got to hold it down and wait for it, after settings is more. And inside more are all the things you probably wouldn't use too often. It'll show you your last night's sleep time. You can set a timer. You can find your phone when you're tethered to it. And then, of course, back from there, and that gets you back over to the uh, watch faces, where, if you press and hold, you have a choice of three, that digital one there, an analog, and notice it has a flat tire, so the bottom is cut off on this watch. Press it again, and you're to this jellyfish kind of uh, a face. That'll show you your tethering um, status, if you're chained and tethered, and that's your battery status. And one more press brings us back to the more digital watch with your step information and date in here as well. So all in all, that's the uh, Zane's R2 non-ECG version. It's hot here today, so I'm kind of sweaty, but it looks like it's pretty waterproof. Uh, it's pretty sealed on the back. And again, just one button gets you all the way through it. And check it out. It's... Uh, on the web at uh, Banggood. We'll have a link over there for you to go and take a look at it. 
and the version that will be available for sale should have the ECG built into it and you can read more about what the ECG will do from the description. But this is a well an announcement to you about the existence of the R2 so that when it comes back into full production now that they're recovering from the virus, we may be able to see it on the market. If they send me one out with the ECG in it, I'll definitely give it a, uh, a review a second time, uh, link this one to it. And at that point, we'll take a deeper look at the app called FitCloud, which is the one, <clears throat> hello, that it tethers to. Uh, I did have it set up in here, and it looks like you can register for an account. After you've registered, you can log in, or you can just go directly to the app right straight from here, and that should enter you into it. And then you got to give all the permissions and everything else. So we're not going to go into this since we don't have ECG. We can't show you a whole lot about it, but it is a free download. So if you want to download the app and look at it on your own, you certainly can do that, especially since you don't need to create an account and log in. Okay. All righty, guys. You've been watching us here at Smartwatch Ticks. We appreciate your thumbs up and uh, your subscriptions and checking out our sponsors who send us these watches. Jump on over and take a longer, deeper look at the Zanes R2 if you're interested. And we'll see you again soon.